Welcome to the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of October 29th, 2018, and let's get straight to it. Here's the honest truth of things, and I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to shellac it. There was a problem with NFL Sunday ticket over the weekend. There were some folks who experienced a pop-up message when they were trying to watch an out-of-market team saying that they had to pay additional or else they couldn't watch the, the programming that they wanted to watch. As far as I understand, it was not everybody. I personally didn't encounter the problem and I was watching an out-of-market game yesterday. Uh, It's hard for me to know exactly how many people were affected, but it was more than one and fewer than everyone. In the end, most people were able to solve the problem quickly by simply rebooting their receivers. Uh, Some had to wait to be told by DirecTV's staff, AT&T customer support staff, that they had to reboot their receivers. And if you were personally affected, I encourage you to call AT&T directly because I understand that in some cases they may be able to offer you a little bit of an incentive as a result of that. No promises, of course. I would not necessarily want to speak for the entire AT&T organization on that. However, if you were affected, do give them a call. But there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle, and I wanted to talk about them because you guys and ladies who tend to listen to the Solid Signal podcast probably weren't affected because you tend to be a little bit more advanced. But you couldn't. You can always act as a resource for those others who, unfortunately, do have uh, a, an effect here or did have an effect here. And so, let's kind of break it down a little bit. First of all. It's very rare these days that we see this kind of issue with any AT&T product or service, which has actually uh, worked against people because it made them made it harder for them to know exactly how to fix things. Like I said, in most cases, all you had to do was reset and everything would be fine. Of course, now that the equipment is so reliable, people just don't know how to reboot their receivers anymore. I've put up a couple of different tutorials on the Solid Signal blog, and it seems like they got quite a bit of play over the weekend, indicating to me that there were some people who needed it. So um, you, as one of the more educated folks, one of the higher tech folks, can always help a friend out by helping them uh, reboot their equipment effectively see if that solves the problem. I find that a lot of problems that you have are solved with a simple reboot. That's true of just about everything and certainly true of direct TV equipment, which has become so reliable that you just barely need to do even that step. Uh, Secondarily, I wanted to point out, and, and again, this is something that you can tell your friends, tell your colleagues, that the NFL Sunday Ticket app seems to have been unaffected by this. If you had it on your streaming box, if you had it on your mobile device, if you had it on your gaming system, which is why I encourage people, even if they don't necessarily want to use that app all the time, to put it on their devices. So if something does happen, they can use it. Um, If they tend to want to go out to the store or whatever um, during a game, it's great. But also, it's great if there is any sort of satellite outage, you're going to find that you do not miss even a moment of the action when the streaming app is loaded. It's just as reliable as watching on satellite TV, and yeah, sometimes it's going to go down, and sometimes the satellite is going to go down. In most cases, that's very, very rare. And I want to bring up something else which I think also deserves kind of a similar treatment, and and for some reason it's not getting the news coverage that uh, that the Sunday Ticket outage got, perhaps because this is a more of a free thing, and Sunday Ticket is something that you pay for. I've received numerous numerous reports from people all over the country that Spectrum's streaming uh, was down all week when it came to using Fox to watch the World Series. If you were trying to watch your Fox affiliate to watch the World Series uh, over the past week, you've, you found that it did not work. Some people found that it worked only in Spanish, and some people found that it didn't work at all for them. I've heard these uh, reports from both coasts and right in the middle, too. And I think it's unfortunate because for a lot of people, streaming is becoming the new normal. And 
th we're not talking about a very short outage, which is what uh, AT&T had with their Sunday ticket situation. I'm talking about a week-long outage that for some people is still going on, that they could not watch their local Fox affiliate on their app no matter what they did. I just kept saying that you needed to be in your home Wi-Fi, which I understand is not always true with Spectrum, that you can watch out of home in a lot of cases. It's it, it kind of, I don't know, I think it's a little unfair that um, AT&T got all this attention and Spectrum didn't, but then I guess perhaps that means that people do not expect a Spectrum to be that reliable when it comes to streaming stuff, and they do expect it from AT&T because they've put in such great uh, infrastructure. I would like to uh, actually give a shout out to the fine folks at AT&T, both past, present, and I guess future, who work hard to keep that streaming infrastructure working and that satellite infrastructure working. There are obviously millions and millions of people who depend on it. And I, I feel bad for the folks who missed the games that they wanted to see this weekend. Um, and I feel even worse for those who didn't realize that in most cases a simple reboot would solve the problem. That's why I'm deputizing every single one of you Solid Signal podcast listeners. Go out and help your friends. Point them to the Solid Signal blog if you need backup and support. But overall, just act as a resource for all of your friends who really just aren't as kind of enthusiastic about it as you are. That's about all I've got for the Solid Signal podcast for this week. I hope you all have a great week.